Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a ho-hum sort of image and we're going to create mood and light and really give it an artistic boost. As always in these videos, the first thing we're going to do is have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. This is the original image which we're going to start off with working with in Lightroom and this is the effect that we're looking for. This image has had a new sky placed behind it. I've got a new sky here that I've used. I've added some sort of light streaks to draw attention to the statue and I've also added a little bit of a color boost behind the statue's head. And we've added some color and some boost of contrast into the statue using curves and hue saturation. So let's see how we would achieve an effect like this. We're going to start our work in Lightroom and I'm just going to make some minor adjustments to this image. One thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of purple fringing around the image which is going to come back to haunt us later on. So I'm just going into the lens correction area here and I'm just going to increase the amount and select this purple color fringing to try and remove some of the fringing from the image. Then I'm going into the basic panel and I'm just going to make some minor adjustments. I'm going to bring the highlights and the whites down and I'm going to bring the shadows and the blacks up a little bit but I don't want to over expose these areas of the image so I want to keep it really a little bit on the underexposed side. So I'm pretty happy with that as it is right now. So let's take it to Photoshop but as well as taking this image let's take the sky that we want to use as well. I have a sky image here so I'm going to control click on it. So the angel and the sky are both selected. I'm going to right click and choose edit in and instead of edit in Photoshop I'm going to choose open as layers in Photoshop. What that does is it opens the angel and the sky both as a single image in Photoshop. So we've got angel on one layer, sky on the other. Now the sky was shot with a really, really old digital camera so it's really a very small image. So I'm just going to size it so it fits over the angel image nicely. So I'll just click yes. Now this is a 16-bit image out of Lightroom. I don't need it to be nearly that big so I'm just going to make it a 8-bit image so now it's an RGB 8. This sky has a lot of noise so I'm going to choose filter noise and then reduce noise and throw all my noise removal tools at it. So I'm setting everything really high strength to 10. I don't want to preserve any details because that would give me a bit of sharpness. I want to reduce all the color noise. I don't want to sharpen any of the details and I do want to re remove JPEG artifacting. You'll see that the effect is that this is really softening the image up and removing quite a bit of the noise. So I'm just going to let that noise filter run on the image. Having done that, let's duplicate our angel layer and move the angel above the background and what I want to do here is I want to blend the angel layer in so that the sky comes wherever the blue sky is in the angel layer. We'll see this more interesting sky below. I'm going to choose blending options and we're going to choose the blend if blue and I'm just going to drag on this slider and what that's doing is bringing this more interesting sky in behind our angel image and I just want to move this slider across. I've split the slider in two by pressing the Alt or Option key and dragging on it so that I can control the transition between the sky and the angel to get a smooth transition. Just going to test this and I'm looking particularly in the lighter areas of the image to make sure that I don't have any sky coming through and I don't so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll click OK. So now we've got a more interesting sky behind the angel but I think it could be more interesting still if we added a curves adjustment to it. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer and now we're going to start to really boost the sky a little bit. 
to get something a little bit more interesting there. Now I'd like to add some detail behind the angel's head and I can do that quite interestingly by adding a new layer. I'm just going to draw a sort of halo behind the angel's head and I'm going to fill it with blue. The reason for this is I want to use a divide blend mode and if I use yellow because I want a sort of lighter yellow ready sort of effect, if I use yellow I'm going to get blue. So if I start out with blue and use divide blend mode then I'm going to get the yellowy red that I want. So it's a little bit of backward thinking there but it works. So I'm just going to position that where I want it to be and I can just adjust the opacity down if I need to. Now what I'm getting here is just that subtle lightning, that subtle colour behind the angel's head. So let's go to the angel now for a minute and let's see what we can do to her. I'm going to choose layer, new adjustment layer and I'm going to use a curves adjustment because I want to boost the angel details. I'm going to click here so that the adjustment is going to be applied to the angel layer. We're still getting some effect on the sky layer but we can get rid of that in just a minute. So I'm just going to really look for an effect on this angel that's going to bring in some of the yellow colour that is there in the angel's wing. So I really just want to hype this up quite a bit. And then I can fill this layer with black, Alt Backspace, Option Delete on the mask and then just go and paint it back where I want it to be. I'm just going to get a soft paintbrush. This is way too small and then just switch to white and paint the mask where I want the colour to be brought back into the image and this sort of more contrasty effect. Now you're going to be a lot more careful than I am in painting this and here I'm just going to slather it all the way across because I don't really mind that I'm bringing in a little bit of the colour from the sky. You can even bring it in behind the angel there. But I am a little bit worried about the other areas of the sky and so I can switch colours and perhaps bring my brush size down a little bit and just paint out the bits that I don't want. So having done that I would look again and perhaps think that this needs to be brightened a little bit so I'm going to choose layer, new adjustment layer. This time I'm going to use brightness and contrast. I'm going to brighten up the image a little bit and perhaps add a bit more contrast. Now it's having too much of an effect on the sky but I can mask that out in a minute. Just want to make sure that I'm getting the effect that I want on the angel herself, which I am. So again, let's fill this mask with black, Alt, Backspace, Option, Delete, go and get a brush and white paint and we would just be painting this back onto the areas of the image that we want to be a bit lighter. And basically that's sort of all the bottom part of the image. We might even use sort of a gradient fill here if we wanted to, to get that sort of effect. Again, a lightening of the area around the angel and we bring in detail in her arm as well. Pressing X will reverse the colours and we can then just work on the mask around these areas so that we're not getting too much of a sort of haloing where we don't want it to be. But again you would perfect that mask by working on it a little bit yourself. 
To add the light streaks, I'm going to add a layer in just above the blue layer. So I'm going to click to add a new layer and I'm going to fill it with white Alt Backspace Option Delete on the Mac. And then I'm going to mask it. So I'm going to click on Mask and I'm going to add a black filled mask to that layer. I'm going to go and get my brush and I'm going to use something a little more interesting. I'm going to use this particular brush here and I'm going to set up its shape dynamics and its scattering so it's a little bit more interesting. Shape dynamics in particular will give me angle and roundness jitter that's going to give me a slightly uneven brush stroke. Then I'm going to make sure that I have white selected as my paint color. I'm going to target the mask and click here and then shift click where I want the light streak to end. Click, shift click and then click and shift click again. Well, I might just undo that last one and try it again. Click and shift click. Now that's giving me a sort of whitey blue area behind the angel but it doesn't have to stay that way. I could blend it in using for example one of the blend modes like overlay or even soft light. I think soft light's a good blend mode for this. I can also drag down on the opacity of this layer to get a more sort of blended in light streaks behind the angel's head. It's also possible to blur this. So if I target the mask itself, which is the area that has the painted streaks on it and choose filter, blur and Gaussian blur, then I can get a sort of blurred effect so that these light streaks are uneven. They're a little organic behind the angel's head, but they're also blurry. So I'll click OK. And if I think the entire image needs a little bit lightening, I can do so. Layer, new adjustment layer, curves, finish off with a curves layer that allows me to lighten the entire effect a little bit and perhaps build in a little bit of contrast here. But you can fiddle with that to get the effect that you're looking for. But we started off with an extremely sort of lackluster image of a angel statue. We've added some sky and then blended the images together. We've improved it with some curves, brightness and contrast. A little bit of adjustment to the sky itself. A little bit of color around the angel's head and then the light streaks and then a general lightening of the entire image. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this YouTube video. If you like the video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you'll be advised when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.